Hi, Kevin Lenz is here again at Trinity at Badger Ranch, the pastor here. Thank you for joining me for our Thursday devotion. I hope you've been joining us throughout the week and throughout the weeks, actually, as Alyssa and Ian and myself are putting together these Monday through Thursday devotions to hopefully connect you to God's Word throughout the week. I've been enjoying leading a study in the book of Romans, so I'm going to continue that today, and we're going to look at Romans chapter 4. And I've highlighted a couple of verses that I want to share with you right now. First off, Romans 4, verse 4. When a person works, their wages are not credited to them as a gift, but as an obligation. And that's absolutely true. When you put in at a job, eight hours a day or salaried hours, whatever the case might be, after you work, you have a payday. Again, it's not a gift, that salary or that money, but having worked first, you're then paid. And we understand that that's a very practical point of view about the difference between gift and obligation. But verse 5 then says, However, to the person who does not work but trusts God who justifies the wicked, his faith is credited as righteousness. Very different. Anything in this world, even the best things in this world, payday, all that kind of stuff that the world can throw at us, that we appreciate, is very different in the way God works. Because we work in this world, we then get paid. Not that way with God. Because we believe without doing any works, God credits us, sees us as his righteous people. And that's a phenomenal gift, full gift, total gift right there. Because we believe God sees us as his righteous sons and his daughters. And we continue then, now looking at verse 13. It was not through law that Abraham and his offspring received the promise that he would be heir of the world, but through the righteousness that comes by faith. So again, we can't measure up to the law. Look at any of the Ten Commandments. We break all of them every day. We can't keep a single one of them for a moment of our lives because we are sinful human beings. It's just part of our nature. But again, as it says right there, we are credited with righteousness from God as a gift because that's how gracious our God is to us. Look at now at verse 16. Therefore, the promise comes by faith so that it may be by grace and may be guaranteed to all Abraham's offspring, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who are of faith of Abraham. He is the father of us all. That verse makes it very point that God has always been connected to his people. And while we might not be biologically descendants of Abraham, we are faith children of Abraham because God used him to be a founder of the early Christian faith. It wasn't even called Christian then. It was just of the faith in God. Christian didn't come along to the New Testament. But we still believe in Christ. We still believe in who our God is. And so Abraham was the, the forefather. And so we are, again, his children, credited with righteousness, because we believe. And look at now at verse, verses 22 to 25. This is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The words, it was credited to him, were written not for him alone, but also for us, to whom God will credit righteousness. For us who believe in him, who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead. He was delivered over to death for our sins, and was raised to life for our justification. So, because we believe in the work Jesus carried out, he died alone. He then was raised by himself, and his father helped as well. But I mean, this, this was a God thing. And by believing simply in the message of Scripture, that Christ is the Savior of all, we're righteous. God credits us with the gift of righteousness. And we give thanks for that, that our sins will never be held against us. We will always be seen by God as holy, forgiven, saved people because that's who our God is. Not so much ourselves, but that's how loving and compassionate our God is. So again, give thanks to God. God sees you as a believer, as a righteous child of God. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope to see you now again on Monday when I do a sermon recap for you. God bless your weekend. Bye-bye.